welcome back guys into the channel and welcome back to more red dead redemption 2 man if you guys missed the last part things really popped off no pun intended we were in guarma we got out of guarma we came back we uh kind of reunited with the gang here at this new camp that you guys see here and uh, we ran into Agent Milton. Agent Milton finally found us, and we had to take care of him the only way that we know how. And that is where we kind of find ourselves right now, man, at this new camp. I still think we're on Chapter 5. I don't think we moved on to Chapter 6 just yet. But we haven't read our journal in a minute, kind of since everything went down. So that's what I wanted to start with here today. And so far, this is what we have. Hosea and Lenny, RIP, two of my favorite uh, gang members there, gone too soon. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. The bank job we planned so hard was a goddamn setup. Hosea got himself killed. Lenny got shot in the head. Marston got himself arrested and is awaiting trial. We fled, leapt on a ship, sailed into a storm. The ship sank. Whole thing like a dream, like a fool's night. I survived that and being lost at sea and got washed ashore on an island called Guarma. Whatever Tahiti is like, I hope it ain't nothing like Guarma. Some nasty bastard named Fussar had the people by the throat and we ended up in a fight with a goddamn arm. Javier nearly died. I nearly got killed. <laughs> it's so crazy like uh, reading this. It's been like a few days since I played, so it's kind of all bringing it back, you know? So much has happened in this game. It is absolutely unreal. Met some decent folk, brave folk, living in a land of hell. We got a boat up. We got a boat out of there just about after some real nasty fighting. Don't think I met many folk deserve killing more than that piece of shit, Fusar. <laughs> oh my lord. Upon returning, found the folk again. At least them as ain't dead. But within a few hours, the Pinkertons had found all of us. Old Agent Milton wants us all dead, and yet somehow we survived and are now planning another escape. Not sure what happens next. Whole thing has been hard on all of us, most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all that we've gone through. And that is the end there. So we're caught up on the journal, and I do kind of want to comment on that real quick before we really get started here. Dutch does seem like he... uh. He's gone a little nuts, man. You know, he had that crazed look in his eye when he killed the uh, the lady in the caves back in Guarma. I'm not quite sure what's going on with Dutch, but I am sensing, I don't know how you would say it, like a little uneasiness from Arthur about Dutch at this point. So that's something I'm going to keep my eye on. It is definitely something that is uh, has been brewing, I feel like, for a while now between the two. I don't quite know what it means, but uh, I guess we'll find out the deeper we get into the story. Hopefully it's nothing, but Arthur certainly is questioning Dutch a lot more now, and I definitely have noticed. Now, also, if we look at the map, we got two main missions here. One of them is Dutch here at the camp. I kind of want to save that one. He needs to speak to us. I have no idea what about. I want to save that one because Sadie Adler... Asked her to meet her, and uh, Abigail asked me and Sadie, I guess not me, Arthur and Sadie, if they could devise up a plan to go and rescue John from prison because Dutch kind of feels like someone set him up. He kind of feels like it was someone within the gang, and since John has been questioning him a little bit on his decision-making, I think Dutch is under the impression that John might be, like, the one who set him up I don't necessarily believe that, but I guess we really don't know. I mean, if there is someone in the gang that did kind of set us up, I have no idea who it would be. I mean, my number one go-to would be Micah because he's kind of sketchy like that, but I don't think it would be John. I do think John genuine, genuinely is a good person, but Dutch definitely has no plans at this point to uh, do anything involving a rescue with John. So, <laughs> And we also have this side mission. Who's this damsel in distress? I think this is uh this is the artist we met. I think he was from uh France or something like that, I want to say. We might do this one first, kind of clear that one out of the way. It's kind of the first like side mission I've seen 
pop up here in a while. We'll clear that out of the way. And then we are going to go to Sadie Adler and uh, see if we can get John out of prison before they decide that uh, he needs to be hung. Because I think there is talks that they will hang him if we do not get there fast. Is that Charles, bro? Oh, my Lord. Charles made it, boys. That was one of my biggest questions uh, after everything that went down because Charles kind of... He set us the decoy so that we could get on the ship, and it never really explained exactly what happened to him after that. But it seems as though Charles is okay, and uh, that makes me super, super happy because I actually like Charles as well. Let's go ahead and see what this artist has. This guy's missions have, uh, I don't know, they've been interesting to say the least. <laughs> you know, he's a very interesting fella, so... I guess we'll see uh i guess we'll see how this little mission chain kind of ends with him before we move on to sadie adler who i think might be like my favorite in the camp to be completely honest i love sadie adler oh we got a stranger over here too though hold on yo this is so crazy i haven't seen strangers pop up in a minute we might have to do this real quick too boys hold on a minute who is this stranger Can be somebody in here can i actually walk in here oh my lord i can't look at this oh my goodness who is this One guy moment, please this is extremely delicate hey there oh, wonderful algin and wasp purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite enchanté uh, tacitus kilgore how can i help you may i interest you in a uh, hat perhaps probably not how about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you That's are. one way to yeah, put be it. Be careful with the china, <laughs> sir. It is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do exceptionally well well what do you need let's see right now i have a couple of commissions i need at least 15 egret plumes good ones obviously i also need 15 assorted orchids here's a list okay i will see what i can do thanks for the tea thank you tacitus it'll be very worth your while all right there's another little interesting fella there <laughs> he gave us a list of things that he needs. He said he pays well, though, so I guess that's uh, that's actually pretty nice. I'm not even going to lie. Egret plums, reddish egret plums, snowy egret plums, lady of the night orchard. Okay. Well, that's an interesting list. You know, one thing I noticed while Arthur was talking to him, bro. Arthur's been having this, like, weird cough, and I gotta, like, be honest with you guys. He does not, like, I don't know, like, something with his face. His eyes are, like, bloodshot red, and I gotta be honest, he just does not particularly look that great. <laughs> you know? Like, he just doesn't. I don't know what it is, man. I hope he's not getting sick, because I don't really know what medicine was like back in these days, but... He definitely looks unwell. I mean, that is that is what I will say about that. Alright, let's see. We're going to go over to this artist guy. 
Everybody let me know in the comments below, man. In this game, what uh, what's your favorite area at? So far, San Denis has been one of my favorites, but I kind of like Valentine the most so far. I mean, Valentine was absolutely legit. This guy should be somewhere over here. Let's see if we can find him. Who in the world is this okay. dude? What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I can't take this guy seriously right now. <laughs> like, what is this man doing? I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. It was like a weird little audio problem. Like, when he first started speaking, there was no noise that came out. Quick, behind here. Oh, Lord, bro, what are we running from? This guy's killing me right now. <laughs> Keep up, keep up. Follow me. Of course, it's Cornwall train. Just can't get rid of that guy, you know. <laughs> we are away. Come now, follow me. Those fellers, you, you shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Yo, this guy might be like one of my favorite side characters, I gotta be honest. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Oh boy. We go through here. How did they even recognize him? That's insane. Quickly! <laughs> Oh, it's nothing. Uh, I thought I knew him. Oh, he just wanted a kiss, didn't he? Please do not do that again. How can I move him? Come on. <laughs> Mister. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of gradients. Not so much. The new kinds of David. The whole in the We go through there. Bro, this is so weird right now. Pretty lady. Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I think the uh, the goatee kind of threw that guy off. I gotta be honest. <laughs> oh my lord, bro! The things in this game are just absolutely wild. Hush! Hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps. We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shit. Money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself and people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. That is something that matters. Look at you, pretty little thing. Woo! Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. Ah, you go 
try out for the circus dressed up like that? I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. Let's go. Oh no 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 no! Oh my lord, really? He's out here. Of course I bit put in the middle of this. There's no chance, brother. No chance, baby. I have fans around here. There we go. Come on, baby. Get this block is going. Oh come on, I blocked that. Get out of town. Oh my lord, bro. These guys are not playing around right now. And he has a knife, brother. All right, this is the guy we got to knock out first, boys. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get some of that, baby. Oh, my goodness. It's a rumble in San Denis, boys. Oh, why? All right, which hat was mine? I think not this one. Come on. You better hope this ship's leaving soon. Oh, my Lord, bro. I can't wear this hat. <laughs> Hold on. I got to swap this. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Well, that was, uh, that was certainly something else. <laughs> Yo, where is my hat at, though? I think I lost it for good. It, like, fell. Oh, good lord, bro. And we're wanted right now. you got to be kidding me. All for that little fight? Bro, they literally tried to jump us, bro. Watch out, brothers. Watch out, brothers. Oh, my goodness. Bro, I need to get to my horse immediately. <laughs> this went south so fast. Come on, horsey. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? We need to get up out of here. Okay, the horse should be somewhere over here. Oh my goodness, bro. These guys are bringing guns out here. Where is my horse at? Buddy, get back here. Don't leave me behind. Oh my goodness. All right, we are out of here, boys. You know what time it is. Why are we always getting chased by the police out here, boys? I have no idea. It is not good, though. <laughs> I hope you guys saw what I was talking about, though, when they uh, showed that close-up of Arthur. Like, dude, he looks so terrible right now. Oh, shit. Brother, all right, that is it. Here we go. Get some, baby. Get some of that, baby. Now we have a bounty on our heads. Of course we do. Why not? It could have been all so simple, but of course. I really didn't want to have to uh, kill anybody, but honestly, I really don't see another way that could have went down. Oh my goodness, bro. Come on, horse. You have to run into everything. Here we go, boys. Hey, they wanted it. They wanted this smoke. Now they got it. All right, we got to get up out of San Denis, bro. Dude, I don't even understand how there's this many policemen left at this point. Like, I got to be real with you guys. <laughs> I thought we killed all these guys, man. There's like an endless supply. Just run him over. Yeah, get some of that, buddy. <laughs> oh, my Lord. None of that went as planned. Welcome to the absolute craziness of Red Dead Redemption 2, boys. Get some of that, baby. Get some of that, baby. 
Bro, I didn't know that they would actually like come out of San Denis to be completely honest with you. It's actually kind of nuts. And he's still chasing me? Brother. Learn when to quit. Why don't you come on back here, buddy? I know you want to. Oh, they don't want none of this. They don't want none of this smoke, boys. I don't know if that's how that was supposed to end, but that is definitely how it ended, so. <laughs> really nothing we can do about it now. I'm gonna have to go pay that bounty, honestly. Holy cow. All right, guys, so I went back to uh, San Denis. I paid my bounty. So now we should be all good to kind of uh, head to Sadie Adler and see if we can't free one John Marston. I have a feeling that this uh, this mission with Sadie could be pretty awesome, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> so uh, I am definitely excited for it. That is a fact. What is happening? <coughs> Yo, what in the world just happened? Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> I don't think so. Mister, you, you don't look so good. <clears throat> Let's get you to a doctor. Bro, what is going on? He definitely is sick. I mean, that much is definitely true at this point, bro. So what is he at? What is it, like bronchitis? Give me a minute. I'll be fine in a minute. Bro, was that blood? I'm fine. Yo, Arthur, I do not think you're fine, brother. Not a chance. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. Position. Oh boy. A fork in the road. Can I help you? Doc, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Man. Bro, we are not in good shape right now, boys. We are not in good shape. Oh my lord, bro. I hope he's gonna be alright though. Can yes, the doctor sir. fix I him? Need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean before I start treating you, cause I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, 
Like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Bro, he looks terrible, my guy. Tuberculosis, brother. They have no cure for it? I mean, I guess it is like 1899. I mean, why would they have a cure, honestly? But, bro, what in the fuck, man? Dude. I was not expecting this. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. Oh man, bro, this episode just got real heavy. You have it in you, I can tell. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. Bro, this is kind of sad right now. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But... I think of you often. So is this, like, kind of like... Bro, what in the world? Is that a deer? Is this like, uh... Bro, no chance. You are sick. While sick, you will only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount of food and drink. Oh, my Lord. Was that like his life kind of flashing before him in a way? Because those were all memories, right? Hey, partner. Oh, my Lord, bro. I was not expecting this bomb to be dropped on me <laughs> in the middle of this episode. You've got to be kidding me, brother. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know if there's a way he could get better. We really got to get out of here and get to, like, Tahiti or something. The dock said a warm and dry place, so... We're going to have to get out of here soon, dude. Honestly. Sadie should be somewhere in here. Let's go ahead and see. I better not remember this tomorrow. I wonder, is he going to tell her that he's sick? <coughs> Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Well, at Lenny. least that's good. At least they got buried, you know what I mean? They weren't just left there. Bro, I'm still kind of in shock of what we just learned, you know? Like, Arthur's really not gonna tell Sadie or anything? I thought Sadie was like one of his good friends so... in the camp. What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. Of course you it is. Serious. Now, the pilot, or... 
whatever you call him. He thinks we're just in it for a lesson, a bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone fallen fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. Oh, You're my lord. I love this lady. Woman, <laughs> oh, she a beauty, ain't she? Hunting right O'Driscoll's. Yo, this lady is yes. absolutely nuts. And I'm here for it. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, pull on oh, that, great. <laughs> oh, pull my pull lord, that. bro. I can't crash again, dude. I've crashed so many Boys times on the uh, on the horse. I can't do How it in a hot air balloon, bro. It can't happen. Okay. Here goes nothing. Yo, this is kind of sick, though. No lie. <laughs> right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, Yo, just look at the surroundings, man. On the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids. Do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. Oh my it lord, really bro. We really are going high. There, you'll have seen nothing like it. I mean, to be honest with you, it already is like kind of stunning, you know? Like look at this, man. Absolutely gorgeous, dude. There's not many games today that even look this good, you know? That have like this much going on with the surrounding right, areas, Let's you know? Break through these clouds. I would never get on a hot air balloon. That's just a little oh. interesting side note. My God. Yes. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the park. So long as it works. <laughs> we are literally sure, in the clouds, man. Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Oh, this is Maybe insane. He's the throttle there, sir. I like how this man's dressed like he's like a full-on like pilot, you know. <laughs> Arthur and Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italianate. 
My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Okay, we're getting a little high now. Oh, this is too sick right now. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Dude, this game is just unbelievable, man. Some of the things we've done in so, this game, I would have never have, thought. <laughs> what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. They said John was on an island. I'm gonna See guess. That building up ahead on the island. That's yep. the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. There he is, probably. Nice. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want to have your customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. I see a few people down there in the uh, in the fields. Oh, we need to come down a little bit. We got some people in the fields right there. Land. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. And take over. And keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you nope, know. Not there. Looks like John's not there. What about in this I little can't field? I believe we're doing this. Is that him? That looks like him, baby. Yep, that's him. Oh Lord, they spotted us. They spotted us. Oh, my God. What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascend! Ascend! Oh my goodness, this is not good. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Yes, it is. At least we found John though. I don't quite know how we're gonna get him out of here though. This altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here. God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Uh, Yo, that we're gonna was clear legit. Now, Mr. Bullard, get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <gasps> Well, now we found out that John actually is there, so now I'm guessing we're gonna need to go back to Sadie and kind of devise ah, a plan. There's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that is that Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. <laughs> I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Absolutely, there's gonna be trouble. Hey, Sadie! Up here! You're just in Shit! They're all drinks. This is Abba has a <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. I guess we're gonna take out some more Driscolls, boys. Yes, she does. 
Okay, that's just a horse right there. Probably gonna have more maybe coming in after. Yep, there we go. I don't even think they see us up here, to be honest. Oh, yeah, they definitely do. Never mind. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, that is so sick, man. Yo, this little guy right here, he's on the ride of his life right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, boys. Oh, that is too smooth. I gotta be honest, that is too smooth. Are there any more coming after? I kind of lost track of where she's at. Where's she at? Okay, there she is. I think that might have been all of them. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Oh, you know that hurt, boys. Right in the back of the head. Yo, this is so sick right now. <laughs> oh my. Bro, we gotta catch up to her. Oh my goodness, dude. This is insane. You're too high. Oh. Lower. I can't reach it. Come on, go lower, go lower. Hold it there, Arthur. Oh, look at this lady. Let's get out of here. Pull me up. Oh, come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. We are not losing Sadie. Not today, boys. We've already lost too many. We are not losing Sadie, boys. Oh, look at that. Bro, Did at least there was water there. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. Oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. Oh, here Lost we go, boys. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscoll's. You can't leave it for one day? Just kill these sons of bitches! <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Get some of that, brother. I'm going to switch guns. I feel like this gun has a little more range, honestly. Oh, it definitely does. Oh, my lord, bro. They are swarming us from all sides right now, brother. Oh, this is not good. Hold on, let's see. Can I take some of this real quick? Let me get some of this real quick. Yeah, that was a bad move, brother. <laughs> oh my lord, bro. The bullets aren't even hit. Oh my goodness. The bullets were hitting the rock. You've got to be kidding me with that. Nice try. Not going to work, though. Oh, there we go. That was nice, boys. All right. I guess Sadie's going in for a closer look. I guess we should, too. Get behind this rock here. Hold on a minute. Come 
Oh my goodness, bro. It's moving too much. <laughs> Yo, Sadie is insane right now. Oh my goodness, I love this lady. Oh, are you kidding me? How many shots does it take, brother? There's no chance I need to clean my weapons again. I might, though, because they are definitely not uh, doing as much damage. Oh, my lord, bro. I need to eat something. I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat. A little one. And we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, wait. We got a herb right here? Hold on. Go ahead and pick this real quick. Oregano. Oh, yeah. That'll be good for uh, seasoning our uh, our meat, you know? <laughs> Yo, this game just gets more crazy and more crazy. So it looks like we got to go rescue John. I guess I thought we were going to do it this part, but I guess we were just kind of scouting it out, see and make sure that uh, John was even still there. And he definitely is. So the next part should be a lot of fun. We're going to go save John. We got a Dutch mission as well. So things are definitely popping off, man. I still don't really know what to think about the... Uh, about what's going on with Arthur. I don't really... I don't know if he's going to make it or not. Or, you know, if he needs to get to, like, a warm, dry place, like, very, very quickly. I don't know. The diagnosis wasn't good. They didn't have a cure for it. So, I don't really know much about tuberculosis. If it's, like, deadly or what exactly, uh, what exactly it is. So, I guess that part we're just going to kind of have to wait and see exactly what happens with all of that but uh with all that out of the way boys and girls i feel like that is the perfect stopping point for this part thank you guys for watching a lot happened this part man and i assume on the next part it's gonna get even wilder and crazier especially since you know going to uh, save john i don't know how exactly dutch is going to feel about that because it seems as though that everyone believes that Dutch has kind of changed. Even Sadie alluded to that with Arthur as well. So definitely a lot more fun coming up on the series, guys. If you guys like the video, pop down below, hit that like button. You know the deal. But uh, as always, guys, I hope to catch you on the next one. And until next time, stay safe.